the beginning of something crazy and historic. And this will be the hardest thing I ever do. But there's nothing else I'd rather. If Dad were around, I think he'd be proud. Welcome to your new office. Only six outlets. Oh, we can do something about that. Full power from a different circuit in the house. Gonna need to do a lot more than that. Yeah, I like it. It's good, clean, simple. I mean, could be a lot worse. Right, guys? Kids. I'm gonna work just fine. Here's the way I see it. Main control panel over here, processors back here, and our pedestal right in the center. Okay, I'm just telling you now, I think we're gonna need at least two storage towers. All right, so spread them out. Toss one on each side of the table. And where do you want me to set up my chem set? In your room. We don't want contamination. In that case, I'm gonna be in the master, right? We'll see. Okay, so everybody clear? All right. Project has officially begun. Let's get to work. This is Perry Frank. I'm the head scientist and theorist on the project entitled Phoenix. Over the course of the next few months, we will be working on breaking ground in overcoming mortality. These tapes will serve as a personal log of all the participants of the project. Regular reports will be mandatory. Preliminary work is going smoothly. We have a basic timeline and a strategy, and we know how much rope we have to work with. Five tests. And we'll use them wisely. I'm ready to get this rolling. For real this time. Okay. So, everyone on the team seems like they're getting along really well, which is great. And I like everyone on the team, which is good because we're gonna have to live together for the next couple months. And I mean, I just, I really wish it were longer, but it's probably about as far as our grand money will last which is what Perry says, and that's where we're gonna go on. Um, which means we're gonna be moving fast, working real hard, and yeah, I just hope it doesn't go by too quickly. So I'm just supposed to talk? Yeah, it's for the grand organization to be able to track our progress. And you want me to talk to myself? Well, no, not to yourself, to the camera. Right, so to myself. 
I don't, I don't know what the guys have already said. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Honestly, this feels like a complete waste of my time. I'll have something to say once we've actually had a test. I have to get back to work. I think the guys are waiting on me. Killing Susie. Killing Jenny. Table clear? Yeah, it's clear. Priming Susie. Priming Jenny. So is that it? So we got nothing. Nothing. Okay, plug in the girls. Sorry, it really should have worked. Probably gonna be something else too. Oh, it's all right, that test was mainly a control. So let's see where we're at. We'll make sure we nail the next one. So, what went wrong? We juiced the hell out of the thing. Of course we did, that's the point. No, it didn't work. Let's talk specifics, boys, focus. There's too much power coming from the top down. It doesn't match with our output. It's not supposed to. Why can't we just turn it down a bit? And by we, you mean me. No, I mean, why no, can't no, we just it's fine. Just no, go no that's everything. not what I meant. I, we're I'm on sorry. the same I'm team. Sorry. Exactly. Let's pull up the charts and get some numbers on it. So there's no more tests for today, then? Only on paper. It's going to be a while before we can go again. Pots and chicken? Yeah. We'll do fine. Good. I don't think we were off by that much. No, we weren't. It has to be a problem in the theory, not the practice. Amps wouldn't miss that badly. I wouldn't go that far. You, you carry your digits the wrong place, you end up with a fire. All right, here. All of these numbers are correct. All right. See, look, I, I think we have a problem with instrument accuracy and margin of error. See, look, look at these connections here. The load can fluctuate too easily. So, let's quit messing around the crickets and get out from another microscope. The larger the subject, the more room we've got uh, for error. We, we got to take one step at a time. If we skip steps, it makes it that much harder to Just get up the stairs. That we need a successful test before we can move Tell on. Tell me out, Perry. Come on. From the beginning, our theory has been built around the warm-blooded mammal. That's how it was conceived. That's how it was built. Am I right, Amps? You should be able to cope with anything. Right, but I'm saying it was built for mammals. Yeah. Okay. So, and I know. This seems like we're getting way ahead of ourselves, but why don't we at least start on the right track? Yes. Go make some changes. Catch a mouse. All right then. Moving on.
Wire cutters. Wire cutters. How's it going over there? Pretty good, from what I can tell. Is there anything I can do to help you out right now, or...? Yeah, make sure I keep working. So... How'd you get a name like Ampersand? How did you get a name like Carter? Well... Um, I was born in a really small town, and my, my grandfather was the only doctor there. And he had this dog, this little Jack Russell Terrier that used to follow him around all the time. And uh, the only problem with having a, a dog for a best friend is, I mean, they only live about 10 years, so... One day, that dog, um, Carter, passed, and a week later, I was born. Carter Watts. After the, uh, after the dog. I was the second son born. Parents always wanted a daughter. They wanted no more than three kids. A sense of humor. Joke's on them, though. I got a little brother. Crash wrench? See how this thing goes together? Test one went about as well as could be expected. We only have four left, but we won't rush. We'll, we'll make the remaining tests last. We'll make them count. We'll get it done. I think Perry and I did a really good job hiring Amsterdam. Devon. They're Talented, hardworking, driven. <laughs> Seems like they want this project to work even more than we do, which is really saying something. Uh, we're heading in a good direction. I think Perry and I are working together well. Uh, he's a complicated man. Uh, not quite the same shape as the rest of the world. He doesn't know how to fit. I started a bit of a fire. Not really that big of a deal though. Uh, I mean, it's not, it's not like the guys can get mad at me. I am building their new toy. Um, Devin uh, is getting us to move on to mice. Uh, it's, it's fine, we were going that way anyways. Eventually, um, but yeah, now I don't have to deal with bugs, which I, I hate bugs. Uh, mice aren't so bad though. This is just depressing. Why can't we use a trap to kill it? Because it'll break the thing's spine. We can't revive an animal that's physically broken. Oh, we could. No, no, no. Why don't we use some poison pellets or something? No, poison's still be in its system. If the machine works, it just wakes up and then dies again. Well, clearly we're not doing that. Poison dissolves when it's dead. Into what? It's tissue? That's even worse. So, when he wakes up, it has some side effects. We can't tell if it's from the experiment or the fact that we poisoned it. No, we gotta do it the only way that won't screw us over. Suffocate it. Put it in a box and seal it. That'll work. Fun conversation, guys. Guys, come on, come on. How long do you think it'll take? I have no idea. 
Do we have to keep it in a see-through container? Yes. Can we at least put it on the table or something? Fine. And now we wait. The thing is basically a neurological jump start. And uh, now that we're working with an animal, the whole restarting of the neurological process could lead to some very interesting results. Um, see, the, the, the animal's commands start in the, the brain. And uh, th these commands are carried from neuron to neuron by these rapid uh, electrical firings of synapses. And, and these firings, uh, they have different patterns and different lengths which create mental function and create impressions. And uh, similar firings help us to remember. Uh, which begs an important question, will this creature relive its own birth upon resuscitation? It's too bad we can't ask it. I thought I'd be ready to start testing on, on larger subjects, but I just really, really feel uncomfortable taking a mouse and killing it for the purposes of its possible reanimation. Like, we don't even know if this machine is going to work or not. And I, I mean, there's, can't we buy some dead mice or something? I just, Perry wouldn't even let me name it. He wouldn't even let me name it. Not going to be around for long enough. I mean, I, I feel like if we named it, we'd have a better chance of bringing it back to life, right? The mouse traps worked, uh, so we have our, our test subject. Um, the machine is, is up and ready to go again. I've got the girls primed, uh, the instrumentation recalibrated. I think, I think, I, I can't see any reason why this is not going to work. I remember seeing the notice and thinking that they can't be serious. This is something that nobody does. This is fantasy. I forgot about it for 10 minutes. couldn't get out of my head. I kept coming back to it because what if, what if I could... And Perry says, this isn't about us. I don't know. It's important to note the change from crickets to mice, very important. After a failure in the first test with the cricket, from here on to be referred to as subject A, the decision has been made to change the organism in question. Size, blood, so on. You make, make sure that you mention it's a mouse specifically. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there, don't, don't worry. The following test will be conducted on an organism of a greater size and with a warm-blooded circulatory system, a common mouse, Subject B. You know, you probably could have written this without me. But if I did, no one would read it. You keep my head straight. Write what I mean and can't say. I need that. Well, just remember that when you're in the history books. The great Perry Frank had never been published without Carter Watts. Check him? Check him twice. Zapping a bug is one thing. I just really don't want that to happen to the mouse. It'll be fine. What are we gonna do? Kill it again? Killing Susie! Carter? Yeah, sorry. Killing Jenny. <sighs> Table clear? Clear. Priming Susie. Priming Jenny. Here we go. Killing power. That's a no-go. 
clear the table. Did that register? Where did you get that? Yeah, we got something. It's not much, but... Did it work? Is it gonna make it? Yeah, it worked for a second. Devin, come look at this. Devin! What? Come look at this. <laughs> look, look. Yeah, yeah. We got all of this. Yeah, this is good. Oh, this is really good. This is, this... I know what to do. Maybe. <laughs> and we wrote it again. Right now, we just run it again. No, we can't. Why not? Look, the, the, the same mouse, we can just run it again. Of course, why didn't I think of that? Okay, A, the coils need to cool down. B, one test, one subject, and that was our only mouse. And C, the wiring melted from the increase in voltage from bugs to mammals. Should I keep going? All right, so when can we uh, be up and running again, huh? I gotta, I gotta take it down a few steps. We gotta re rewire it, let the girls cool off, charge them up again, and, and get another mouse. Thursday, Thursday. Thursday. Thursday's great. Thursday's fine. This is good. This is progress, right? But we killed it. But we brought it back to life again. So now we just have to figure out somehow how to sustain it. And, and that's all we have to do. That's it. Simple, right? We'll get to work on an autopsy. Yeah. Record everything. Write down everything and, and, and preserve it. Uh, great work, Hans, huh? We're getting there. I'll run analysis. You get this up and running again, OK? Copy. Nice night. Yeah. Peaceful. And nights like this, my sister and I used to come up on a roof and watch thunderstorms in the mountains. That sounds nice. Yeah, it was. My dad wasn't around much. It was mostly just us. It's understandable. The uh, scientific profession asks a lot. Did your father ever isolate that protein sequence? You know about my father? Uh, I research, that's what I do. No. No, he never did. That's too bad. I know. He was a great man, my father. He did his best to raise us right. That's all you can ask for. Wish I had been afforded the same. What'd your father do? Nothing. So, how long until we're ready for the next test? When we're ready. We can't afford to throw away any tests. Right, uh, of course. But how long do you expect this to take? Well, we have enough money for a couple months of waste and haste with no results, but uh, if we slow down and make each test last, we might actually have something. But the, the goal of this is to apply this work to humans, right? This endeavor is about scientific advancement, not practical application. You know, I think my father's biggest regret was watching other men finish the work that he started. And I think about that every day. Last few weeks have been uh, rough.
rough. We, we keep getting the same results. Carter is uh, staying positive as always. And, uh, you know, Devin is getting frustrated, but he works hard. And Ampersand, Ampersand is the one I'm really worried about. He's not himself lately. His confidence is dropping and every time the machine fails, he takes it personally. I, well, I, I'm doing and, and I'll continue to do my best to try and keep the team and the project together. I haven't slept in a couple of days. So hopefully I'll be able to if I can if I can get some of this off my mind. Hopefully. Yeah, that doesn't look very safe. What do you mean safe? The mouse is dead. Yeah, I know, but I just don't think that looks like it's gonna work and I just don't wanna torture it. It is dead. And it's not supposed to work. I just need to make sure the skull cap transfers electricity more evenly. Well, what does that have to do with anything? Carter, would you plug the mouse in, please? Not until you tell me what you're gonna do with this mouse. Fine. I need to make sure I don't kill any cells or damage a portion of the brain. I need to make sure I don't melt it. Melt it? Give me the mouse. Wait, hey, hey! hey. <sighs> you guys ready to go in here? Well, that thought. No. Harry, a word, please? Yeah, sure. Uh, amps, run a ground wire from the cap to the table. Tell me if that works. So, uh, are we set? If the synthetic adrenaline and the oxidizers are separating, we can't wait any longer. We're off to put together a new blood strain. So how long will that take? Well, I can mix it together with four hours work, but it'll take another five days to bond and settle. That's no good. We're gonna waste so much of our money on small tests, we'll risk losing a real one. Right. I mean, we can try pushing the old mix, but I think it'll take too long to react once it's in the system. Okay. Well, if we're not completely set now, let's ride the levels low. Maybe we can save some wear and maybe go two for one. Is there any work? Let's go! You sure? Third time's charm? Let's hope so. Perry, I want another. Let me, let me have one more test, Perry, please. I, I, have, I have another. I have another. I have another mouse, and just one more test, Perry. I'm, I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry for. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's not you. It's all of us. This is not an easy thing we're doing. So just calm down. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. Let's just try again, okay? Five minutes. Five. Five minutes, Perry. Five. five. I think I think I might know what's wrong. It's it's basically all that I all that I haven't changed. Um, my no, I mean, five minutes, Perry. Let's let's go again. Just you and me, okay? okay. Please. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. I think we have enough power for one more pull. Okay. 
Ya te pueden, te toman. Toman. Take a break. Hmm? We need the rest. Go away. Go away! Saved you some dinner? Guys? Guys? Guys! Guys! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Harry! Harry! Come on! It works! Oh, it works! Oh, this needs the mask moved. What happened? Uh, I came here to check on the girls, and, and the table was empty, and... and that mouse is on the floor. Go, 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 go check the record, see if there's anything abnormal about our last test result. Perry. 
I don't think anything is different. I think I think everything's the same. No, 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 no. Uh, Amps and I ran another test last night. It was after everybody else left. We didn't we didn't have anybody here to record. And it changed. I can build off this recorder or not. What's all the shouting? What did it? Why is that mouse on the floor? We're back in business. Carter entered the lab last night and found our test subject across the room. Amps has something to work with now. Yeah, finding that mouse on the floor was about the best thing that could have happened to us. <laughs> the team is motivated. We've got our miracle. This is the thing I needed. This is gonna let us do something big. There's no way Pear can say no, not now. He's just gonna go bigger and better. And then we're there. I was at the hospital last night and, and, and she's... She's not getting better, but she's stable. There's still time. We got lucky. Uh, hopefully it helps me out quite a bit. If this is accurate, then I, I've, I've got some things I can try pieces I can, I can build with. Um, I, th I think we're running into an issue with cell oxidization. Oh, which, I, which I need to talk to Devin about, but if it made it off the table and no further, it's definitely an issue with cell functionality. Uh, but luck or not, I, I am glad this happened. I am, I am really glad. What did we do? We've only been changing the amount of power we've been using and, and playing around with the pieces we already have. And I guess there's a lot going on that's a bit over my head, but still, I mean... I'm not complaining. This is progress. This is amazing progress. And I just, I just can't seem to understand what could have caused this unless, unless somebody. You finished with the camera. We should get this on tape. Yeah, I don't know about that. What do you mean? We document everything. The mouse moved. Yeah, but maybe it didn't. Well, I'm not sure I follow. Maybe somebody moved the mouse. Maybe to make the machine look like it was working. Keep it in mind. Thank you for looking out, but don't worry about it too much, okay? I don't want it affecting your work. Okay. I just was going through it and I don't really see how it would be possible. I mean, we didn't really change anything. Well, Devin's blood strain was getting old, separating. Perhaps the separation kicked the oxidizers first and the adrenaline second. And uh, we only ran half surge, not even half, so it could have created a more natural pulse, which we didn't account for. Our distribution system is at its best yet. Completely revamped, twice as efficient. Any one of these could have made the difference. Yeah, of course. If there's a problem, I'll handle it. Sorry to bother you, Barry. Carter. Thank you. Overall voltage output ranges from 100 volts to 3,500 volts at maximum output. We have the capacity for anything. No, no, not anything. Anything up to a human and a bit beyond, anything useful. But it gets more difficult the smaller the subject gets. Tougher on the machine, easier on the general public. Nobody minds us working on a mouse, but the second we move up to household pets, people start to get nervous. And we know we can get orgasm up and moving, but we can't sustain it and there's a delay. And I have an idea why this might be happening. Now, once the cell dies, it is difficult to bring it back, and even then, there's no telling if it'll be able to function properly. 
but even dead cells contain enough genetic information to make a copy of themselves. I see where you're going with this. It's not something I can do. No, I know. I'm not asking you to. Yeah, I, I, re I really don't see where you're going. He's talking about inducing cell generation, but only where necessary. Exactly. Activating the existing cells isn't enough. We need to start helping. We need to catalyze the regenerative processes exponentially. We'll know we've done our jobs if the rabbit stays alive and sheds about 40% of its mass over the first day. Uh, rabbit? Where are we getting rabbit? They're transported frozen. It'll preserve more living cells, make my job a lot easier. An enzyme? Yes. I'm already working on it. From what cells? Some of my own. Just a small skin sample. Human cells? Yes, that they're the most readily available. It shouldn't cause any genetic complications. How long do you need? Three or four days. It'll take a week, get it right. Funny system those two have. It works. They make a good team. I guess. I'm not sure what Carter brings to it. He's a good kid. You should get to know him, talk to him. Give him a chance. Did you go to bed last night? Uh, Matt.
out of bed every night. Did you see anything, hear anything unusual? What do you mean? Well, I thought I heard noises coming from outside. I thought I heard the front door. Huh. No, I didn't hear anything that bothered me, and I was up pretty much all night. Creatures in the night. Yeah, I guess so. Are you busy? Not really. What's up? I just wanted to thank you for noticing where I was the other night. Of course. I mean, it's not really any of my business. Just as long as you're doing your work. Yeah. You know, I never asked you, how, how'd you end up working for Perry? Oh, I was doing my undergraduate when he was doing his doctorate and he was one of my professors and I just kind of became his understudy. And what did you study? Uh, engineering. Same as Perry, but he was doing his doctorate in mathematical physics. Yeah, he's a, he's a smart man. Yeah. Must have been hard sometimes, though. What do you mean? He's not the most compassionate man I've ever met. I mean, that's just his way. He's just, he's just practical. Practical. Yeah, sometimes he's a little too practical. He's just stressed out. He just, we only have so many tests left. He doesn't want to come up empty handed. You don't want to come up empty handed. I was at the hospital last night and she's not getting better, but she's stable. There's still time. I'll tell you what. Call up to the grant committee in the morning and see if they can help us out. Yeah, anything to buy us more time. Yeah. I'll call them in the morning. Devin, we need to talk. Yeah, sure. You know we're not doing this for personal reasons, right? This is about something much bigger than that. Much bigger than us. I know that. Okay. Because it seems like you got someone in mind. In fact, I know you do, Devin. You've got to tell me this. You don't, you don't think I'm committed no, enough? No, no, I think you're plenty committed. I just want to know why. Are you doing this for somebody? Who is it? Perry. Tell me, who is it? It's my little sister. Oh, God damn it, brother. There was a car accident. I, I tried to stop, but I, I couldn't. And now, now she's... Now she's dead, okay. No. She's unresponsive. Okay, so here's why that's a problem. It means that everything we're doing now means nothing unless we get the result that you want. So we're fighting time, we're fighting money, and now we're fighting you. Well, I'm not gonna no, do anything. No, no, to... I don't care. You don't bring something personal into this. You don't make it a goodwill mission. Are we clear? Are we clear? No. Harry, we aren't. I, I, I can pretend to move past this. You know, lie to your face again and again and, and say, it's out of my mind, but it's not. And it's never gonna be. Then why are you wasting my time? This is the only hope that I have. When the time comes, I know that you are gonna do the right thing. I'm the right thing. Where are we going to go find a body? Huh? How long is that going to take? How easily is that going to derail this whole project? Maybe there's another way. No, there is no other way. What we're doing here is something that most people don't want or even understand. Now, now the other guys, they understand that this is not for us. But you, you, you you're miles ahead of us. Hmm? Now tell me if that sounds productive. I'm sorry. 
Now that you know why I'm here, do you think I'm gonna do anything to hurt this project? All this means is that I have regrets. And what, like, like you don't? You don't have mistakes that you would want to fix? Do you? doing some thinking and you're right I'm sorry I should have told you about her all right uh, there's some things I want to run by you things I think we've been missing yeah okay let's hear it don't start it start it Carter, you can't just go through my stuff like that. What are you doing? Talking to some people today, Perry. Down at the university. Tell me something interesting about your grant. What's that? Nothing. Get back to work, please. Carter, can I speak to you in private? There is no grant. Not what you said. I said that I have the finances covered, and I do. They have a file on you? Were you even aware? What's in the file? Nothing. Please, get no. back to work. Perry, I think I have the right to hear this. What's in the file? It says that he's done this before. Or at least you've tried. Tell him. Tell him. No? Okay. Once, in your second year, you almost burned down the science building, sent a guy to the hospital. Then you tried to make it your dissertation, and then you blow out the power in the lab. You electrocuted two teammates. You barely made it. Is that true? I heard it straight from the source. It's more than just your project, Perry. This is your... This is your session. I want to get it done. Yeah, I've gathered that. You'll get it right eventually. Right? And until then, what? Why, you'll just... You'll lie to everyone. You lied to me from the very beginning. Say it's, it's, it's legitimate. It's financed. It's legal. Say everything is, is okay. It's all right. 
Don't worry. Nobody's almost died working on it. Don't worry. Nobody turned me down twice. Carter. Twice! Carter, please. Yeah, you know what? I think... I think I'm done with this. What do you mean? This project is not for me anymore. Carter, come on. Carter, hey, look. Fine, you, you're, you're right. You know, but you can't just leave. Why not? This whole thing is insane, Barry. This project is so, so selfish and you know it. What else are you? What do you... What do you have? What have you... What have you given up for this? I, I, I thought you valued our friendship, but clearly I was wrong. We're just the crew. That's it. I'm done. Carter, come on. I'm done. I quit. I can't work for a liar. Get back here! being lied to either. I don't have any other options right now. I guess I can understand your situation. You don't know anything about my situation. Don't pretend like you do. I'm not still here because I want to be. I'm still here because I have to be. Don't forget that. Mm. Mm, whatever the reason. Taking some time off. I think it got a bit stressful for him. Will he be back? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I um I hope so. The enzyme's done. It's powered up. Well let's uh let's double check it with the system first, make sure the deployment mechanism is all set. Mavs has been on it, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess uh, every, everything checks out. Okay, well, we should check it again. We've made some significant changes. Well, all the changes we've made will work. We should go for a test now. Well, I don't think we're ready for a test. Well, Amps has been working on this for days. And we don't want to bleed any more grant money. Amps? Everything should work. Amps is ready. I'm ready. We're ready. Let's get in the lab. I don't appreciate that. You don't have to.
Jenny. What that test did was fry the main connection, which cost a surge in the rest of the machine. Uh, it's fixable. It is fixed. That's all it was. So we're up and running again. So we can keep going. If we're careful. So we're careful, but we keep going. We try the rally again. No. No, we need to check everything first. I did. I, I already checked. I double checked and I rechecked. I've been up all night. Fixing this machine by myself, we're checked. Okay, great. So let's pull the cables. No, we look at it again. And not just the machine, we look at the math. We look at the enzymes, we look at the oxidizers. We look to make sure our specimen is ready. We look to make sure no one is going to get hurt. I want to see it, I want to sign off on it. We don't move on till I'm convinced. Something happened between you two? Just a disagreement. That mouse, the first time off the pedestal, it never moved. Sorry, what? You moved the damn mouse, Perry. I know you did. The numbers prove it. It never would have moved at all with the system I was using. Look, amps. No, 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 no. Don't you look amps me. I am not a kid. All right, I, I get it. I was frustrated, and instead of talking to me about it, you just, you went ahead and you cheated, Perry. All right, look. I did not cheat. This project couldn't afford to have you freezing up. A decision had to be made, and I made the right one. I am not a machine. At the end of the day, it At worked. At the end of the day, you moved the mouse. It didn't walk anywhere. You moved it, Perry. I have been basing hours and hours of work upon the pretense that what we were doing made the mouse move, and that, that is, it's, it's completely false. Okay, but, but you've got it right now, and you can do this. I'm taking some time off. First Carter, now this, it's too much. It's, it's too much, Perry.
Yeah. Time for a test. Zam's finished checking everything yet? Yeah, he's done. All right. Um, let me wrap this stuff up while he does the pre-test. Actually, then Amps is sitting this one out. It's just you and me. I see. I need your help. All right. Killing Jenny. Killing Susie. Board is up. How are the levels? Susie's at 94, Jenny's at 97. Let's put the specimen. You can't just run it without me, without asking me. We moved forward. You had no right to move forward. Carter, hey, I I know you're mad and Harry, you have I... every right to be, but hey, we we did it. What? The machine. <laughs> the, the machine works. Oh my god. I I don't even know what to say. I, I congratulations. <laughs> We're gonna publish. And I want I I you know I need you here. What? Please. Harry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. See, it wasn't just cell oxidation that was fouling us up. We also needed the rapid regeneration in order for it to work. Uh, so what we essentially did was we gave the system a jump start, forcing the rabbit cells uh, into a, a rapid mitosis and causing them to multiply at an extremely accelerated rate. And, um, and it worked. <laughs> well, you don't care how. It, it just worked. Well, it worked. I didn't get to see it, though. Um, so I guess what happens now? You know, this, this, what, wait, or I guess, I guess we're done, right? It's, it's alive. The rabbit, the rabbit's alive. I, I'm just so proud of everybody here. Everyone. 
So happy Perry called. It's really good to be back. What are you doing? Leaving. No, you can't. Why not? There's nothing else to do. I might as well just get out of here. No, we're, we're not finished. Well, Perry is, okay? And ultimately, it's his show. We got a living subject. What's left? Human test subjects. <laughs> right, humans. Yes. Make, make this project mean something. Make it worthwhile. Do you have a body? No. Then stop talking and get out of my room, please. And look. I know you. You weren't satisfied. You want the machine that you designed, that you built, that would not exist without your hard work to do more than this. To be more than this. And Perry's gonna publish, and someday someone else will finish the work that you started. Can you honestly tell me that you are okay with that? Don't be a stepping stone, Amps. You are better than that. And I am better than that. And this project deserves to go all the way. Give me a body and then we'll talk. Perry's gonna shut us down. I will get you a body, but we need to start work now. Okay, just, just remember, we get, we get one test per subject, and you need to listen to me. I need you to listen to me. Yes, I will. Remember, you and I are on our own now. Okay. We're gonna need a bigger test area, a stronger current, more complex jump system. We're gonna need a rapid oxidation system, something new, something better. Now, I know what makes the thing tick, but I don't know the technical skill you have to make it happen, so tell me what you need and we'll get it for you. It's only a matter of time till we're discovered, so we need to move quickly. Let's get this done. How's it coming? Should be just about up. Okay, great. Perry and Carr are pretty deep in writing, but be careful with the sound. There's a certain amount of noise that comes with construction. No, I know. Just do your best. I'm gonna take a glass of water and some work in the living room. If one of them heads for the garage, I'm gonna drop it. You listen for the break. Go ahead. All right. Okay. You're doing great work, Apps. We're almost there. And um, to this point. All the rabbit's vitals are normal. Blood pressure, etc., etc. We'll put the data as a as an appendix. Taking a break? Just grabbing some things from the kitchen. You know, you're right. It is on my mind. The implications of the machine. What it could become. Maybe not like you, but I, I do think about it. I know. You gonna get some sleep? Soon. What was that? What? I heard something in the garage. Really? Yeah. 
Damn it, you got me a towel. Get it yourself. Hey, Harry. Amps, what are you doing in here? I was just, you know, uh... uh Devin! Yeah. What exactly is going on in here? We made it better. Excuse me? You want to run that by me again? I got you what you needed. You have to let me try. No, you went behind my back. See, that's it. You're done. This is my room now. Testing is over. Harry, this no, project needs to- No, I don't think you seem to... to understand. See, this machine has already successfully reanimated an organism. It's in the next room right now. Yeah, but it can- The you... project is over. Perry? Perry? Perry, sorry. Come on, this isn't right. Listen, look, you want to push the parameters of this project exponentially and, and ethically, I'm telling you, we simply cannot. No, 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 no. You will not. Look, this is possible. You're just putting limits on what we can you achieve. You just don't get it. This project has never been about human mortality or self-preservation. No, but this could be. But what we have discovered is astounding. And. Maybe someday there will be human implications. Someday. But if you try to push it there now, it will never happen. Perry. Ever. We might as well just throw it away. No, you owe me this. Your sister is dead. No! You can't save her. I'm sorry, but that's life. You try to bring a body in this house, I'll have you arrested. to do to you all. I don't have any other choice. Katie passed two days ago. If this works, she's the first. Okay. It's been an honor and a privilege to work with each of you. You put together a hell of a team. I know you didn't plan on making it this far, but I'm not gonna give you a choice. I'm in the bathtub. Hurry.
Say something. Can you say something? Carter. No, please say something. Say anything. Carter, he doesn't remember how to talk. No, he knows how to talk. This is a brilliant man. He remembers how to talk. Say something. Devin is gone, Carter. It's over. <laughs> Take it all down. No!
immune to reformatting. And that's scary. And sad to know that fact for a certainty. To stare it right in the face. Yeah, our memories are uh, our memories are what make us special, what make us different. Without them, we're nothing. The project is over. We have failed. I.